In this snip, we'll see how to create, modify, and remove lists and libraries from SharePoint Online using PowerShell PNP. I've already used the get credential commandlet and I've provided my username and password. Now we need to connect to the site collection where we want to create lists and libraries. To create a new list, in this example it will be a contact list, use the new PNP list, provide a title, a template, and choose whether or not you wish this list to appear on the quick launch. We can also create document libraries using the same commandlet, new PNP list, and simply change the template, which in this case will be document library. Now let's create multiple lists and libraries from a CSV file. In that case, you will need to import your CSV file using the import CSV commandlet, provide a location, and then loop through each item that you have in your CSV and use the new PNP list commandlet as well. Here I have my CSV file. Now let's run the command. Let's check out if the list and libraries have been created. I'm going to refresh the page. And sure enough, list and libraries are now on the quick launch. If you wish to modify a list or a library, we are going to use the set PNP list, provide the name of the list or library using the identity parameter, and then choose different settings that you wish to change on the list. I'm also going to change the client list that we created earlier, change the title to customers, and add a description. Now let's verify that the client list has now been changed. Refresh the page. and it's now called customers. If we wish to remove list or libraries, use the remove PNP list and provide the name of the list using the identity parameter. You can use the recycle switch if you wish this list to be moved to the recycle bin and the force parameter will not ask us for a confirmation. And lastly, Let's remove multiple list or libraries from a CSV file. This is my CSV file. Let's run the command. And verify that all the list and libraries are gone. And sure enough, they are now been removed. And that's how you create, modify and remove list and libraries in SharePoint Online using PowerShell PNP. Thank you for watching.